Brian Fury has just recently joined Cobra Kai. He is taking the No Mercy theory to the next level. This video was requested by Chad the Herrera. The kind man that gave me that generous box of goodies today. Chad asked me to put together a video that demonstrates different styles of punching. I saw this as an interesting opportunity to beat a bunch of people with using just punch buttons. Brian is Chad's favorite character, so I just had to pick him, you know. <laughs> and Brian's punches are just so damn fun to land. He literally has Hands of Doom. He has a combo called Hands of Doom, and unfortunately I could, I could not land it. <laughs> we have a uh, punches versus kicks situation here. <laughs> now, in real life as well, punches will usually, I don't know, like, if you, I don't know, I've seen plenty of Taekwondo guys lose to boxers. <laughs> Once they get in close, the, the Taekwondo guys just don't seem to really know what to do. That's assuming the Taekwondo guy is only using Taekwondo. <laughs> and Taekwondo punches just don't stand a chance against boxing. And up close, you know, Taekwondo, you can't do too many... You know, up close, kicking is not the greatest option. And I gotta do the no mercy. Brian shows no mercy. Yes. The next character I chose was Miguel. Whose punching is very undisciplined, but very powerful. <laughs> like, Miguel really goes for it when he punches. He winds back quite a bit, and he swings all the way through a lot. And sometimes he puts his hands together for a hammer-like strike. Now, I didn't win this entire fight, but what I did with Feng was just so damn cool on this round. <laughs> I, I did actually win an entire match with Feng with just punches, but it just wasn't as cool as this round, like this round was so damn cool. <laughs> I just really like that. Here's me playing Paul. Paul's a judo Paul's a judo guy, you know. 
but judo pretty much uses karate strikes and Paul is demonstrating some powerful karate style punches when he does those power like his form is pretty perfect <laughs> When he punches you in the chest, it makes you fly backwards, which means that it's a re it takes a ridiculously powerful punch to do that. Like if you punch somebody in the chest and they fly backwards, <laughs> like that's a ridiculously powerful punch. Now this one's pretty much the least special. This is the least special fight of the entire video because I'm playing a boxer, you know, like no duh, like you can totally win with just punches with Steve. It's not a surprise at all. <laughs> but what would a punching episode be without boxing, you know? Besides, this was a crazy comeback. This guy was just whooping the shit out of me the entire fight. But then I came back like I do, like I always do. I come back every day. <laughs> I am the comeback kid. I do not give up. I fight till the bitter end. I just demonstrated some sweet dodging techniques right there. Steve is easily the coolest boxing character that I know when it comes to fighting games. Because he has every stance in the book. <laughs> He's like the perfect boxer, which just do not exist. <laughs> like He's good at every technique. But this was a fun little challenge for me. It was pretty fun to just use punch buttons. It it kind of forced me to get creative out there. <laughs> and next time I play with kicks again, I'm going to be a much better player. <laughs> Since I had so much fun doing this challenge, and there's plenty of characters that I have not chosen yet. <laughs> but I'm most likely going to do this challenge again with other characters that I haven't picked yet. <laughs> and like, you'll notice, you know, I, it's a punching chat, like what chat and what it was a punching video. But I made an exception with... And I love that. And then I had to bah of course. I made an exception with elbows and palm strikes. <laughs> <laughs> 